kilometers or 60 miles on battery power alone. And that would you know, satisfy in the US 80% of a daily driving. And that to us, you know, I thought was a sufficient sort of thing. And even when the, uh, the battery is depleted, we felt that the, you, know, you just use the engine and then you still get the benefit by having a flexi fuel engine running on the E85 and uh, go farther and go on vacation <laughs> as you know, much as uh, going on you know, doing your daily driving on, on this car. So it, it has a gas engine and the electric motors. Can you explain to how, how the system works? Well, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the uh, recharge concept works so that most of the time you will be uh, operating on the electrical energy that you charge the battery with during the nighttime when uh, you're mainly uh, using uh, renewable electricity on the grid. And uh, using the electricity, the battery will fly you up to 60 miles range. Yeah. And once the, uh, the battery Excuse starts getting weak, weak and sometimes you might, the engine might come on sooner because of the, uh, the power demand you are putting on your driving style. If you're left footed, you obviously the engine might come on sooner. And then the engine will come on automatically to allow you to maintain driving uh, on, um, you know, as far as you want. And whatever, because the engine is operating at a constant optimal speed, whatever engine, you know, extra electricity that you're generating with the flexi fuel engine, you know, could go back into the to the battery and um, start charging the battery again. And what that means is that when you finally stop at your destination and the regenerative braking actually puts more charge back into your your batteries, you don't have to uh, you know spend three hours filling up the battery to pop it off again because you have to just stop with you know the electricity back in the battery again. So, so how futuristic is this? I mean, is this something within the next well, six months or next <laughs> ten years? <laughs> well, what you're seeing is a, a very early phase of our test car program, and uh, we only recently started to work with PML Flight Link as to work on these wheel models. There's a lot of development that still needs to be done. There's a lot of control system because here we could uh, you know, control all four wheels electronically very independently. You know, if you want, you, know, you could reverse the direction of the motors on all four wheels and you know, create really good donuts, for example. Uh, however, one of the things that we're trying to do is to maximize efficiency and try to maximize safety. Um, obviously, the active safety is greatly enhanced by having full of traction control. Um, so, you know, there is a lot of work to be done, is what I'm trying to say. Uh, other things that we're trying to do right now is uh, we're trying to make the, uh, the braking be done by motors as much as possible. To the point that uh, you could see in this concept car, or this concept display, that uh, we have fully eliminated mechanical brakes. And the re uh, because uh, at some point we should be able to have uh, uh, a sufficient redundancy in the, the motors so that we could brake uh, the car totally with the motors and recover all that energy braking energy instead of dissipating it as friction. So uh, right now we're showing a situation that is probably going to happen in the future where there are no uh, mechanical brakes and that allows us to reduce the unsprung weight. And so that right now we're even with the motors we're only about two kilograms heavier than the you know, uh, traditional wheel uh, configuration with the disc brakes. Are there, are there other systems that Volvo is looking at as far you know obviously the the ecology is very important uh, to everybody here, and yeah. so are there other systems that Volvo is also looking at as uh, possibilities? Well, one of the reasons that why uh, Volvo has decided to show this uh, concept or this uh, whole new test program very early in this phase is because we realize that we need to start partnering with uh, concerns, especially the electric utilities, who have the knowledge that we need to make this uh, whole business scheme possible. That is. Uh, this is a plug-in hybrid con uh, car, which means that when the car is plugged into the grid, it is part of the grid. And being part of the grid, uh, the electric utility should be able to access the, uh, the power electronics and the battery uh, energy for their own uses to actually maximize the efficiency of the overall electrical infrastructure. So in some ways, the, during the 90% of the time the car is parked, you know, like, you don't use your car 90% of the time. Let's say, you know, put the car into use as part of the grid. In doing that, what we need is an intelligent uh, charging system so that the owner of the car could be paid back for the services provided into the power company. So obviously here's a new business case that um, I had um, uh, uh, read a report from a, a federal utility commission, I believe it was, that showed that this uh, ability to sell power without you know, generate it with renewable energy at nighttime and sell it during the daytime is worth about $500 per year to the customer. 
However, also the same report also found that the, that the electrical fluctuations, the voltage fluctuations due to the stress in the power grid in the United States today is so great that the ability for a car like this with this fast acting uh, you know, power system to uh, help regulate the voltage is worth two to three thousand dollars a year. Well, you know, if, you know, if the car, you know, car owner could get paid back, you know, two, you know, two to three thousand dollars a year back for the power company, that changes into you know, the, you know, exactly. the whole game. Exactly. Your so, car ends up paying for itself. And, however, we can't do that because that's not our expertise area. But we're giving them uh, a possibility of doing that by you know, producing a car. And I just want to, you know, essentially this is a case we are trying to show the power company who we want to partner with you. We have a technology we're developing. Here's, you know. You know, see us as a resourceful partner that we can work with to uh, make this a possibility. And actually, what we will lead to is a greater energy security in the United States and actually a much more efficient use of resources. Um, uh, the power company is also uh, electric intensive. We like to buy used hybrid batteries, for example, to store wind energy. Um, you know, like uh, then what they could su help subsidize the uh, the cost of the battery. I mean, that would be a big benefit. To so there's, there's, pl there's, there's plenty of, of, um, yes, of exactly. features and, you know, um, I guess, opportunities. For the right, and uh, the whole point of us showing this uh, work right now at a very early stage is to show, you know, to try to start these negotiations so that we could come up with a standard idea, a standardized uh, plug-in system. We were looking, we also would like to have an automated plug-in system which is why we put the plug in the nose of the car so that you can easily position yourself relative to a robotic system, let's say, to, you know, so you don't have to you know, plug it in yourself. There's a lot of things that we want to work with with uh, electric companies and maybe with other suppliers. That, uh, and by you know, showing that, you know, showing what we can do, they could you know, feel like, you know, try to offer us their services to fill the missing pieces to make you know, something that's much more exciting than just a car here. <laughs> so how, how long before you think you would have a driving prototype of something like this? Uh, much sooner than you think. <laughs> good and and, and the, uh, uh, what you're seeing right here is a cutaway display of our car that we're developing in Sweden behind closed doors. The question is when do we want to show it to you is one of the questions right now. A question you're not going to answer right now, I assume. Well, essentially, uh, you know, right now we're in a, a testing development phase. It's not ready for public eyes yet. You know, it, it's a very complicated system. You know, we don't want things to go wrong in front of the cameras, so uh, <laughs> we want to make sure it's you know, perfectly good. Yeah. Well, it's a fantastic idea. We should have some luck with it. <laughs> well, thank you. Yeah. Well, hopefully, you know, it'll, you know, I think it will generate some interest and uh, from uh, people that want to work with us because the whole way is to you know, work with other people and partner. We don't have all the answers. <laughs> well, you have a number of them, it sounds like. <laughs> well, not all. <laughs> Excellent. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Okay. Hopefully that works. Please. I think so. Absolutely. Okay, great.